dia and who delights to to feel his presence near just like a child whose mind is not a doubt and whose heart is never proud here i come o lord here i come just like a child here i come o lord here i come just like a child just like a child who shows not stand but who holds firm and tight his mother's hand just like a child who sings in bright daylight fearing not the long not night here i come o lord here i come just like a child here i come o lord here i come just like a child Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers. Good morning, morning Father. Father. This mass is offered for all souls in purgatory by Sharon and family. Thanksgiving to Sacred Heart of Jesus by Augustine for the gift of new job, for the intention of Lakshmi for a marriage proposal and for a job intention, intention of Lakshmi for a mother conversion, deliverance from all the evil. and also thanks giving to almighty god by jude vasanti and family members let us begin the celebration in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit Dear sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to sacred mystery. May God accept us, make us part of His holy Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault. through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive our sins and bring us everlasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy Let us pray. O oh God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us. Grant that that we, with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endures. Through the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. one god forever and ever amen The first reading a reading from the book of Jeremiah The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord Arise and go down to the potter's house and there I will let you hear my words So I went down to the potter's house and there he was working at his wheel and the vessel he was making of clay was spoiled in the potter's hand and he reworked it into another vessel 
as it seemed good to the potter to do. Then the word of the Lord came to me, O house of Israel, can I not do with you as the potter has done, says the Lord? Behold, like the clay in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Your response, O real psalm. Blessed is he who is helped by Jacob's God. Blessed is he who is helped by Jacob's God. My soul gives praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my life. Sing praise to my God will I live. Your response. Blessed is he who is helped by Jacob's God. Put no trust in prince, in mortal man which cannot save. Take their breath, they return to the earth. They plan the day comes to nothing. Your response. Blessed is he who is helped by Jacob's God. Blessed is he who is helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made the heavens and the earth, the seas and all that they contain. Your response. Blessed is he who is helped by Jacob's God. Please rise for the gospel acclamation. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Open our hearts, O Lord, that we may give heed to the word of your Son. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia. Sing alleluia to the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At the time, Jesus said to the crowds, Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net which was thrown into the sea and gathered fish of every kind. When it was full, men drew it ashore and sat down and sorted the good into vessels but threw away the bad. So it will be at the close of the age, the angels will come out, separate the evil from the righteous, and throw them into the furnace of fire, where there will be weeping and gnashing of the teeth. Have you understood all this? They said to him, yes. And he said to them, therefore, every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old. And when Jesus had finished these parables, he went away from there. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. I am the clay and you are the potter. It is the prayer of the children of God. And God is the one, the potter, who designs according to his design wish. My dear sisters and brothers, this is the word, the phrase taken from today's first reading, Prophet Jeremiah, chapter 18, verses 1 and 2. God calls our Prophet Jeremiah, asks him to go to a potter house. Go and observe how a potter does. Today may be strange for some of our children, for new generation, the potter, clay, it all become like ancient preservative in exhibitions. But still, some of the villages, some of the places, still we do that. We use the clay pot for preparation, for drinking water. Very specifically, we see during summertime, we use that clay pot for keeping water cool. And it's also an instrument to preserve the food those days, during the time of Jesus or the Old Testament, why? Before 20th century, even 19th century, we had this system. Still we follow many of the places, the pots. 
If you go into the potter's house, you might have seen the potter uses the clay and he makes it hot, puts on a wheel and he designs according to shape it has to come. If it doesn't come properly, he redoes it, remolds it. That is what God sends Jeremiah to go and see that. Why God has to send Prophet Jeremiah there and to see that we have to see further in Prophet Jeremiah chapter 29, 14 there, God says to each and every individual, I have a plan for you, a best plan for you, a best future for you. I know what is a good for you because I'm your Lord, your God, your creator. You may be at the age of 100 or 80 or 70 or lesser than that, whatever it is. God is the one who created us. Our thousand years is equal to one year to God, as the psalmist says. That's what God sends to Israelites, says that I love you and I created you and out of my love, I formed you, he says. And says God very beautifully has a conversation with Jeremiah, says, I don't have any right how to take care of my children, my dear sisters and brothers. It's very important for us to make one point of it. Today in this world, we are living in such a fast technological world. Before we get married, we have plan about our children's future, right? And we have a lot of savings, this school, this institution, this kind of future, and they have to be like this. Everything we plan it out. But today you see a God, the one who created us, how much plan he may have about us. That's what he called Jeremiah, go to a potter house. Reason, people all are complaining about me, but I'm not taking care of them. I'm harsh and my love is very strict, but they don't know how much I love them. So Jeremiah goes and see, and he sees the potter, he designs according to his wish. When something goes wrong, again, he takes the clay and remolds it and makes it perfectly a thing as to come according to his desire and wish. Because the potter knows what kind of pot he has to make for a particular place, particular person. So that way he makes, then he comes back to you, Heavenly Father. And Heavenly Father says to Jeremiah, if a potter himself does like this, and he wants the clay to be designed and perfect, a perfect pot has to be made, how much I will desire above my children. I don't have right to remold them, to remake them. That is what I do every day, day to life. I call back my children, I purify them, I make them to be a perfect. That is the love of the Heavenly Father, the love of God. Dear sisters and brothers, it's very important for us to make a note of word of God. God speaks to us. God speaks to us out of love. And God created us out of love. And finally, God sacrificed himself out of love for us because God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Gospel of John keeps on repeating this, chapter 3, verse 16. And also we see every word of God is inspired by the power of the Holy Spirit. That is what whatever the Heavenly Father has spoken has to happen. And it's happening. It's happened, first of all, through initiation that Jesus has taken to bring these people to life. That is what today in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 13, we see that. Jesus calls the apostles and disciples, again gives explanation about the kingdom of God, how a kingdom of God will be. A day to life, the trend, what's happening according to the time of Jesus, he was using the particular phrases. He said that when you go for fishing, for the fisher flock, you're using this. You just haul the net. After just spreading the net, you haul it to the seashore. When you haul it, you bring everything. You won't divide there itself, right? You bring to the seashore, then you take the best one to you, and second, the good one, and third one, you put the useless one. Like that way, even your kingdom of God, God will make everybody to grow. We are living in the same family, same community, same country, same society, and all will be happy. But the time will come, God knows according to act, how we will be divided. So similarly, God uses phrase by phrase and uses in the name of parables. And today, my dear sisters and brothers, it's very make a point that God says that the word of God is old and new, there isn't any difference all together. But the old has to complete in Jesus and Jesus is a fulfillment. We see St. Paul's letter to 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 16, he says, 
every word of God is inspired by the power of the Holy Spirit. God himself has given. So you don't have any right to divide this is old, that is new. Because the old has started, this old has given inspiration for us and it's a preparation for us to understand the new. And what is this old? Yahweh himself preparing Prophet Jeremiah to understand the concept of God. Understand the concept of God. What is God himself? God is love. And that is what Jesus proclaimed that love is Jesus himself. And not only just proclaimed and he showed. And he showed by dying on the cross. So my dear sisters and brothers, it's very pure theology of God. What is the pure theology of God? The pure theology of God is God loves. That is a very simple word. And Jesus very made the people to understand. So every time Jesus questioned the apostles, he says that, have you understand this? In what sense? They said, yes, we don't know. But Jesus asked them, whatever I speak to you, you understand. Every time they said, yes, yes, yes. Jesus took for granted. His disciples, apostles understood. That means they are preparing themselves. My dear sisters and brothers, have we understood the word of God? Have we understood the love of God? Have you just seen what God the same question God is asking to all of us. Are you understood me? Let us say yes to him and do his will. Because every word of God is a life for us. And this word of God, today God has given to us. Let us always receive this word of God as the field received and produced food. And the food, the good food of 100 fold, 80 fold, 60 fold. Amen. Bless the Lord God of all creation for the goodness we have received, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of a human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine, work of a human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit, contract heart, may we accept the way you look God, may I sacrifice this day to please you. O Lord God, wash away my sins. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice, yours, may be acceptable, God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept your sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life, lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanks for yourself is your gift. Since our praises had nothing to greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. So in the company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and we joyfully proclaim the word of yours. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. We sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like a dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it disciples, saying, Take this, 
all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, it church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together Francis our Pope, Peter our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Especially remember all the departed brothers, sisters, parents, and family. May God grant them eternal bliss. Very especially remember the souls that have been forgotten, the souls that have been purgatory offered by Sharon family, we all for the souls, they have been very specially, the souls are because of COVID-19 and souls, those are not remembered, the soul of Reverend Father A.S. Anthony Sami, the soul of Anthony Souza, the soul of George Victoria, the soul of all the brothers, sisters who departed from our community and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy on the families all gathered here. Those who ask us to pray to whom you promise our prayers. We especially remember all those who are sick, those who are under crisis because of the pandemic. Have mercy on your people. Have mercy on the families of this parish, Lord. We surrender all those who ask us to pray to whom you promise our prayers. Those who are part of this Holy Eucharist through the participation in the live channels or in the Holy Mass. Lord, we especially pray the intention of Lakshmi for a marriage and delivered from all the evil. We also offer Augustine for the gift of job. We thank the Lord along with him and the families all gathered here. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, his spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, St. Anthony, St. Francis Xavier, we are pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs with eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, at your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of our Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Here is the Lord, the God, the Creator, looking at us, the Potter. He makes everyone according to His plan and designs us. Here is Lord, 
to come in the midst of us asking, are you the one whom I called? Let us say yes to him and surrender. Happy are those called the supper of this living God. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but say only soul. say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of Christ, keep us safe, our eternal life. Amen. Amen. act of spiritual communion my jesus my jesus i believe i believe that you are present that you are present in the most holy sacrament in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things i, I love you above all things and i desire earnestly and i desire earnestly to receive you into my soul to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally receive you sacramentally come spiritually into my heart come spiritually into my heart i embrace you i embrace you as you are already there as you are already there in my heart in my heart and unite myself and unite myself wholly to you wholly to you never permit me never permit me to be separated from you to be separated from you amen amen blessed are the merciful for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, but they shall see God. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which we himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to St. Anthony. O oh, loving, loving Saint, Saint Anthony, Anthony, you were a special witness of God's power and loving imitator of Jesus, who received from God the special power of restoring lost things and patron of the poor. We lift up our prayers to you. We trustfully and confidently ask your aid in our present deed. Help all of us in our daily struggles, giving us hope and peace. Pray for us, St. Anthony, so that we may continue to grow in God's love. Intercede for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thy loving kindness